Hi, YouTube. Um, so I said in my video that I just posted that I wanted to make a video um, about how my first and second trimester um, went. So I have some of my past ultrasound pictures and stuff that I want to show you um, just because I think it's kind of cool as a first time mom to um, track the progress about how much she's grown. and. Um, I, it, I don't know, it's just something that I want to share. Um, so this is one, my mom had to print them out at her work because I have a Macintosh and the CD that they gave me only worked on Windows. So she took the CD with her to work one day and um, printed it all out. So it's on huge printer paper. Um, but this ultrasound was when I was in the ER. Um, this is the day that I found out that I had hypermesis. Um, they did an ultrasound. They didn't let me see anything. The tech that was doing it was like, I'm not a doctor. I can't show you. So I didn't actually see these ultrasound pictures until I think I was like 10 weeks. But this is Charlotte at six weeks. Um, if you can see. There she is. That little squiggle <laughs> is is a baby. <laughs> um, so that's her at six weeks. Um, oh my gosh, at six weeks, gosh, that's when I started having the really bad morning sickness. Um, I knew that I was pregnant because this is going to sound so, so bad. <laughs> um, but I was getting dressed in the morning, and I was going to put on my bra, and the bra hooked in the back. Um, and so I was hooking the bra, and as I was hooking the back, the front sn literally snapped open. And it's not like it, there was any hooks or anything in the front. It just literally ripped open. And I guess that was because my boobs were growing. <laughs> so I, I guess... I had had some idea, um, maybe around four or five weeks that I was pregnant, um, just because I noticed that I was going to the bathroom more. My boobs just really hurt and felt huge. Um, I didn't really have any morning sickness or anything at that point, um, but I didn't take a pregnancy test then, um, just because... I didn't want to believe that I was pregnant. I, I just, I didn't. I was like, nope, I'm just sick. It's, my period's going to come. You know, it's, there's no way. So I didn't actually take a pregnancy test until about, I think it was like 10 days after my official missed period, which had never happened. Sometimes my period would be like maybe five, three, five days late, but never 10. <laughs> but I let it get that far just because I was delusional. <laughs> Um, they're in denial. Um, and I think I actually have a picture of my pregnancy test that I took on my phone. I took two. The story is, um, the picture's not really that important, but I took two. Um, one at like mm, two, three in the morning. Um, and I was, like, obviously half asleep. So, you know how it only takes, like, a minute or two for it to show up positive? Well, I think because I was half asleep, that minute or two felt so much longer than what it actually was. So I was like, eh, I'll check it in the morning. The box had, like, two pregnancy tests. So I was like, no biggie about this one. It's taking too long. I'll just take, you know, the second one when I actually wake up. Um, so I threw the first one away, um, and then when I had woken up again around 6 or 7, um, I took the second pregnancy test, and oh my gosh, like within five seconds of me taking the test, it came back positive. So <laughs> that's when I started freaking out, and <laughs> I was like, this has got to be a joke, and I remember going from the bathroom to my bedroom and just sitting on my bed and being like, this cannot be happening. Um, and just staring at the test and, like, praying that it changes to negative. Um, but it didn't. 
And then I remembered that I had taken the first test and how long it had taken to come back and how I thought that that meant that it was negative. So I went into my kitchen trash to pull the first pregnancy test out. I pulled it out and that was positive too. It was faintly positive because it had been in the trash for a couple hours, but still clearly positive. And so I was, at that point I was like, okay, I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, and one really mean thing that I do not recommend you doing <laughs> as a way to tell people <laughs> you're pregnant, um, but I think I was, I did it because I was just in sheer shock. Um, I took a picture of the two pregnancy tests lined up next to each other, and I texted it to my parents, and I was like, guess what? <laughs> uh, it's funny now, but it was not funny back then. It really wasn't. My parents did not appreciate that. <laughs> but hey, I was 20, so I'm 21 now. Not that I'm that much, you know, wiser and mature. I mean, I'm a little more mature than I was back then, but not much. Uh, so don't do that. That's really mean, and I really regret doing that to them. Um, but So that was um, around, I think, when I went to the doctor, the doctor told me I was almost six weeks pregnant, and then it was a couple of days after that that I went to the ER just because I, was, I began vomiting literally everything. I couldn't keep even water down. Um, and so after a couple of days of that, I just, my mom finally took me to the ER. And that's how I found out I had hypermesis. Um, so that happened. And my first, I'm trying to find the 10 week ultrasound. I'm sorry, these are all my ultrasound pictures. They're all mixed up. Um, so let me try and find, here's 10 week. Okay. Here is my favorite 10 week ultrasound picture. Here she is. Um, so, as you can see, just from six weeks to ten weeks, wow, what a, like, she's grown so much. Um, and then, I think from ten weeks, I had one of those, um, I couldn't wait to find out the gender, so I paid, um, I did one of those, um, elective, um, ultrasound pictures at 16 weeks to find out the gender early um, and so that's how I found out I was having a girl um, this is the ultrasound at 16 weeks um, where they tell me it's a girl and these are some of the really cool it was um, a 3D, 4D ultrasound, um, and so, you know, at 16 weeks, they're really, they're quite small, um, but you can, you can still make out her facial features a little bit, um, so this was her, that's her head and her eyes and her nose, she doesn't have, like, any fat on her, um, and then this is kind of a cool one, you can see her arm and stuff. Um, so that was at 16 weeks. And then at 18 weeks, I had the anatomy scan with my actual um, OB. And Charlotte has always done some really cool stuff at my ultrasound. My ultrasound, she's always like second her thumb or um, this, the one at 22 weeks, she was drinking the amniotic fluid. Um, and uh, there's one ultrasound that I'm going to show you where it looks like she's smiling. Um, this is her where she's, I think she's like touching her face or second her thumb or something. You can see her arm right there. Um, and that's at 18 weeks. Here, here's a better one at 18 weeks where she's bringing her hand up to her face. And then these are the really cool ones at 22 weeks. Um, this is the last ultrasound that I had and probably the last ultrasound that I will have. Um, this is the one where it looks like she's smiling. Doesn't it like literally look like she's smiling? Like, 
I just, that's my favorite ultrasound of all time. She just looks so cute. Um, this is her profile. There we go. And them confirming that she is a girl because I made them double check. Um, and then her feet and her arm. So, I mean, to me, it's just incredible how much she's grown. Um, I mean, I obviously didn't think she would stay little forever. <laughs> but it's just super cool as you have ultrasounds throughout your pregnancy. And once you actually um, compare them to see how much, you know, your baby grows, it's really kind of neat. Um, so those are the ultrasounds. I'll cap it off, and then maybe I'll make another one actually doing what I said I was going to do. So thanks for watching.